Welcome back to Candy's Classic Game Shrine, everyone. I apologize for my break in videos. Uh, this video here is going to explain that, the future going forward, as well as show off what I've been up to in my absence. Um, let's start off with where the hell have I been? Um, about 10 years ago, I injured my back and I herniated three discs and I have a additional bulging disc. I used to have a pinched sciatic nerve Luckily, no longer that's the case. Um, however, the pain had gotten so excruciating to the point where I was pretty much immobilized. Um, that was about last month. I started physical therapy shortly after it got unbearable, and I'm still continuing physical therapy. It'll probably be a few months while I'm still on that, and I also have medical massages prescribed to me as well. Um, mental health has... Uh, been a little up and down, admittedly. I suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder, anxiety, and depression. Um, so I've been going through different therapies for that as well, um, seeing my psychiatrist on top of that. So basically my plate on my personal life, or in my personal life, has been a little crazy. But I have no problem being open and sharing with you guys. If anyone out there is suffering through mental illness or is depressed, reach out to me on Twitter or Facebook or one of the social media means. I'm here to talk for everyone. No one needs to go through it alone, and I mean it. Um, let's see, mental health, physical health. Um, in the time that I have been healing, I have taken up a job with somebody in the Seattle area. Uh, he's going to buy a bunch of my dioramas and he's going to be selling them at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo and I'm here to show off the ones that I made for his table. And if you are going to be at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo, you can look out for them for sale at his table. I'll provide more information on what his table will be, and I will try and have it in the description below. Um, as well as making these dioramas for PRGE, I had a wonderful subscriber, also a channel that I'm subscribed to, uh, Boyakasha. I love the channel name. Um, he sent me a wonderful gift here, and this is going to be the topic of a future video, and I'm super excited to try it. Basically, what Ben has sent me here is a modified light gun. And I love that Ben added his little signature and a little note there. It's a really sweet touch. Ben sent me one of his kits, and I wasn't able to figure out how to properly wire it, or wire it up. So Ben sent me one that he had already done up with pretty much the same zapper gun that I have so that I can pretty much copy and paste. If I can get that one to work, I will be happy to give that away. Uh, this one I'll be keeping because it was very nice of Ben to send this to me. And also along with this, let me talk a little bit more. This gun will allow me to play NES zapper games on an LCD TV. As you can see here, you can adjust your input lag there and you have to pad some ROMs on top of it. I'm not 100% sure how to do it yet, but I promise you there will be a video on how to do so, and hopefully in the near future that will be coming out. So for anyone that wants to take a closer look, there is your NES plug, your orange zapper style, still got your clicky trigger, and then you have your little potentiometer for your sensitivity. Again, thank you, Ben. You really didn't have to do this. I appreciate it. Um, on to the artwork that I've been doing. That's another thing. My shoulder's kind of been messed up. Um, I've made, let's see, how many dioramas? One, two, three, four. Promise that's my chair hitting the table. I'm not farting. I've made 20 dioramas in the last couple of months. So here they are. This one is using a DMG with Pikachu and Meowth in the forest. Let's see if you can get a better look. Now when you find these at the table at PRGE, more than most likely they'll be in boxes like these so that they're protected. I just wanted to take them out so you can see them easier. 
Let's see, next one up, this one's really cute. I don't know why, this is one of my favorites. It just seems to pop. Little Alette Kid on a Game Boy Pocket. In a field clearing. Really need one of those rotating things. Turnstiles, that's what they're called. Here's one using a little finger puppet that I got from Pink Gorilla. This is a Pampy or Pamphy Pokemon from the second generation, and I used a Game Boy Color shell for this. And I used some little hedges to make a D pad out of flowers. This one is more of a, let's see, it's supposed to be more like a cave. Here we have Sableye with some gems and piles of rocks that you would maybe find in a cave. Next up we have Zubat. Really like this one. Now, if anyone has questions on how I've done any of these or anything like that, just leave me a comment or find me on the various social media pages for my channel. And I will try to answer as soon as possible. This one, I tried to go outside of the Pokemon theme and I experimented with a Mario Kart diorama here where here we have Bowser going down one of the tracks Here's another one where I ventured out of the Pokemon realm and I went back to Zelda. I know Phantom Hourglass isn't on the Game Boy Advance, however, this figure from the Gashapon machine was really cute. Pardon my dog. She's a little crazy and she may bark a few times. And back to Pokemon, but not for long. Here I created a little scene with Graveler and I always confuse them. I think it's Machoke. Machamp is the, no, never mind. I was right. This is Machamp. So Machamp and Graveler, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> seasons are changing and my body is not liking it. But here we go. I pictured this as like maybe on a mountaintop. The two of them would be fighting outside of a cave. I don't know. Maybe Graveler got woken up by Machamp. I just try to use my imagination when I make these. And who can resist everybody's goofy Pokemon Wobbuffet? It's just simple and cute. I mean, there's really not much to say about this one. Here's a really cute Togepi piece that I did on a Game Boy Color. Tried to make it colorful with all the cute little flowers on the ground and kind of make it look Easter-y since Togepi is a cute little egg. This one is the first one I experimented with my water technique, and I think it came out pretty well for a first time. 
This is a melodic in a little lake. We have little seaweeds and cattail-esque grass growing along the side of the pool. Some little pink shrubs to bring out the colors of melodic. And I think it just looks really nice. Whoever's gonna get this one is gonna be happy. Cause I mean, I'm happy just having it here for now. <clears throat> Here's another one that is a bit of a scene. This one is the two of the Reggies. Not necessarily in a battle scene, but I would say an exploration scene in a forest. Here's another one I did with another with my water technique. Uh, here's Octillery at the beach with a wing gull up here. I added some cute little sea ornaments, I guess you can call them. We got the sand, the palm trees, the rocks for the wing gull to land on, in theory. Here's another one. This was, I think, the first one that I had put together. It's a weeping bell in a forest clearing. Just some shrubs, nothing too fancy, but the colors pop really well. Pardon the trash coming to collect compost. <clears throat> I can never catch a break. Before I recorded this, someone was lawn mowing and weed whacking, and now this is what it is. Here's another cute one I did. This is a palm with his bananas in the jungle. After watching Detective Pikachu, I have a whole new appreciation for a palm. Now these next two are back to Zelda and they should look relatively familiar for it, for you guys if you've watched my videos. Uh, these are just different takes, slightly different takes, on the Zelda dioramas I've done with the Master Sword. This one's on a Game Boy Advance. You know, the first one was on an original Game Boy. So that's the difference here. Obviously the arrangements of the shrubs and things like that. Oh no you don't, Hot Blue. Oh no you don't. You're not gonna stay there. It's gonna drive me crazy. Sorry, those hot glue strings are irritating. <clears throat> Here's the other Zelda one that I did, rel you know, relatively similar to the others. Uh, this one's just on a Game Boy Color. Luckily, they're all gone now with my trash. So it'll be a little bit quieter. This one I'm still kind of working on. But I thought the concept would be cool to make Deoxys be flying in space with the stars and the galaxies, hence the little glitter, and make it look like he's going through an asteroid field with the different rocks. I might add a few more meteors and make it look a little bit more spacey, but this is more or less it. Let me not forget this right here. Here's another Zelda themed one I did of the Gorons. I thought it was cute having the father and son here. Pretty much imagine them going out in the forest together and the father teaching the son about being a Goron and looking for rocks and things. And last but certainly not least is going to be the diorama that I feel came out the best in my opinion and I'm super happy how this came out I almost want to keep it for myself not for nothing but it's this really cool squirtle at the beach diorama I think the water and the waves came out really nice on this one squirtles 
expression is just perfect. He looks like he's angry at the ocean. I put a little uh, Easter egg star you in there and a random little lobster. I just, I don't know. I really like how this one came out. And the person that buys this one, I hope they PM me and let me know what they think because Ah, this one's my favorite. But that's pretty much it, guys. Um, long story short, TLDR, I made a bunch of stuff for PRGE that's going to be sold at a friend's table. Uh, a friend from another channel sent me this amazing zapper that works with an LCD TV. So there will be coverage on the LCD NES mod. So look forward to that. And my health is in the state so um i'm working on getting it better though and i'd say i'm like halfway there so if you don't see videos all the time it's most likely due to my health for some reason or another so please i apologize ahead of time but please 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 bear with me and i mean what else is there to expect ah yes for your patience for everything i want to hold another giveaway soon and the theme will be virtual boy games for prizes. So if you are interested in winning virtual boy games, uh, let me know in the comments below your interest in that. Um, and we'll take it from there. And until next time, guys, take care. And now it's time to give it up to my Patreon supporters. Barclay Crazy, Chipper Angeles Negri, Joyful Sworn, Michael Carter, Robbie Martin McEvoy, Steve Marlowe, and the SideQuest Gamer. Thank you guys so much for all your support. You guys rock. If anyone else would like to become a Patreon supporter of mine, the link's in the description below.